All right, YouTubers, we're getting ready to, to CC the combustion chambers on these 862 LS cylinder heads after having the deck surface cut 30 thousandths of an inch. I almost didn't check the size of the chambers because I was really getting excited about getting my engine final assembled. Uh, spent almost a full day trying to remove one exhaust bolt that had broken off in the head. That bolt was sticking out of the head at least a half an inch. I tried every try to get that thing out and before anybody jumps on me in the comments I don't own a welder so I was basically using map gas torch to try to heat that thing and then hit it with wax uh, PB blaster, knocker loose, every kind of penetrating oil I could come up with. I tried using an extractor and all it did was just clean all whatever remaining threads that were there. It just basically cut all the threads off of it and made it shiny. So I ended up taking the head over to Richard's house literally with less than two minutes. He had welded a nut on the end of it and took it right out of the head. So Anyway, I was going to run home and throw it, throw it on the short block because I've already got the first head on there, but I didn't want to put this one on until I got that stupid exhaust bolt pulled out. So anyway, let's get busy. When I CC'd the chambers on these heads prior to having them surfaced, they were almost 65 cc's. Like I called it 65 cc's, much larger than the 61.5 that GM advertises them at. So it'll be interesting to see where where is the chamber size after we had them or after I had them cut thirty thousand. Okay, guys, I got my ceiling plate installed with a little bit of red grease. So let's start filling her up and see what we get. I've got this first syringe filled up with uh, 60 cc's and this is supposed to be a 61.5 chamber from the factory. May have this thing a little bit too elevated. Let me check this out. Okay, so it took the whole 60 cc's, and yes, I got a few dribbles on here, but we're not affecting anything that I'm worried about. All right, so we're at <clears throat> 60 cc's. I'll tell you what I might do. I'm not sure if I can get this thing to, I've got it at a pretty severe angle this time. So what I'm gonna do, Try to reduce the angle just a hair. There we go. Okay, now I've got this one filled with exactly five cc's, which is five milliliters. A bit more. She's full. And that's at four. It's exactly, if you guys can see that, it's exactly at four milliliters the little air bubble that comes for that little nipple. So this head, after see after having it milled thirty thousandths, is sixty one cc's. Now think about that. Those eight sixty twos and seven oh six cylinder heads are advertised as sixty one point five cc from the factory. Problem is when I cc this cylinder head during the porting process, it was at 65 cc's uncut. Think about all the different uh, builds that are out there right now that people think they have more compression than they do because the you know the chambers and the heads don't have the cc's that GM advertised them at. So anyway, that's where I'm at. I wanted to share that with you guys. Cause I was gonna throw the heads right on the short block and then realize 
I never did follow up with where the chambers were after having them cut. So I made a big difference dropping it from 65 down to 61 with a 30 thousandths deck cut. So I appreciate you guys watching these videos. Hopefully this helps uh, someone out there with uh, blueprinting or setting up a, a build so that they can make some horsepower and have some fun. Please like, subscribe, and share. Please check out my other videos and see if you can find something else that you're interested in. Thank you.